Quio 12 introduces enhancements to improve the behavior when importing step files in Quio. Upon importing a step file, Quio will determine the appropriate model type for the import file, either a part or an assembly, with users being able to also manually choose the type. When importing a step assembly, the default model type will be set to assembly, in which a new Quio assembly will be created with the defined assembly structure. Default behavior will now no longer add the import model to a new Quio assembly with Quio now maintaining the structure of the step files. However, to preserve past behavior, a new import option has been added enabling the import model to be a component or sub-assembly of a new Quio assembly. We can see that with this option active, the chair model is now a sub-assembly of a new Quio assembly. If the user chooses the model type as part, a new multi-body part will be created with a defined body for each assembly component. This avoids manual conversion having to be done within Quio to convert a step assembly into a multi-body part. With this example, we can see that all of the components in the chair assembly have been converted to bodies within a new Quio part. When importing a step part, the default model type will be set to part with the assembly type option being grayed out unless the step file is a multi-body part. If the step part is a multi-body part, the default model type will be an assembly and Quio will explode the bodies into a flat sub-assembly structure within the assembly. This is shown here with all of the bodies in the step part being converted to parts within an assembly. For a multi-body step part, if the user chooses the model type as part, the multi-body step part will be imported as a true multi-body part. As seen with the example, the chair part is comprised of several bodies similar to any multi-body part within Quio. Step assemblies containing multi-body parts can now be maintained through a new step import profile option under the topology tab called Maintain Multi-Body Structure of Assembly Components. With this option active, multi-body components defined in the step assembly will be imported as multi-body components when the model type is set to assembly. We can see that the armrest part is comprised of three different bodies represented in the familiar multi-body structure within the part. When this option is inactive, multi-body parts will be exploded into flat sub-assemblies within the assembly. Now, we can see that the armrest is an assembly rather than a part, with those bodies being converted to parts within the sub-assembly. It is now also possible for users to define such options during the import operation to control their import preferences. These enhancements allow users to preserve step assembly and part files containing multiple bodies during import, whilst also improving interoperability between different CAD systems and Quio when using step.